so guys and welcome back to another video on the channel and today is a match preview between Swindon and Northampton at the County Ground at 3pm kickoff. If you do enjoy this video make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to 750 subscribers, we're not actually that far away from it uh, now. I mean a lot if we get there. Anyway, let's get into the video. So Swindon will be going into this game with 4 wins to their name, 5 draws and 3 of those draw uh, wins that we've had. We're in our last three games, so yeah. And Northampton on the other hand, they'll be going into this game with seven wins, two draws and one loss. And their last four games were four wins. So we'll be looking at our form now. And Swindon, in their past five games, have picked up 11 points with um, three of them being a win against Doncaster, Grimsby and Sutton. And Northampton have picked up 12 points, getting 4 wins. Then against Stockport, Rochdale, Wimbledon and Barrow. So in our last game, we had a 2-1 win, which is in my opinion, um, it was really fully deserved. Our two goals were really good. Our defence was alright and um, we let in that goal. But still, the defence was alright for the second half. And near the end of the game, it was very dramatic. I think they had like 5 shots and uh, on target. And Bryn saved us from uh losing the two points there and so did um Hutton as well so Northampton's last game was also a 2-1 win against Stockport with the goals being from Hoskins and Limot and for uh, Stockport the goal scorer was Horsfall so our last game against Northampton um we actually did win against them it was a very very great game we won 5-2 four of the goals came from McCurdy obviously he's gone to Hibs now and um, Tyree Simpson scored one as well. Um, he's at Huddersfield. So we've got some news from earlier today. And it's been confirmed that Jacob Wakelin has signed a three and a half year contract with us. So until 2026. In my opinion, this is some absolutely great news. Because what was it? So far this season, he's bagged four goals. That was one or two assists. He's done good so far. So um, yeah, I'm glad that he's there. And there's some more news. Lindsay has announced that Rushen Hepburn Murphy is injured. He's got a hamstring injury and he'll be out for 10 weeks. So what I'll be doing now uh, is players to watch out for, for tomorrow's game. So what I do, I pick three players from Northampton and three players from Swindon. So starting with Northampton, we've got Sam Hoskins. He's a top scorer so far, get, getting 11 goals, which is absolutely amazing for them. And um, he's got one assist as well. Second player I've gone for is Mitchell Pinnock. He's um, got the most assists for Northampton so far in the league this season, getting three. And the final player is Sam Shenin. He got him out of the match last game against in their 2-1 win against uh, Stockport. So we're now on to Swindon. First player I want to mention, uh, Jacob Wakelin, because um, obviously he's just signed a new contract with us and um, he's our top scorer so far with four goals. Second player is Ben Gladwin. His form's been absolutely amazing in the past few games. He's helped us a lot and he's um, got three assists, uh, the most in this league for us so far. And the final player is Ronan Darcy if he starts because um, last game he did get his first goal of the season. So yeah, and that was assisted by Ben Gladwin as well. So yeah, now we're going to be doing a predicted lineup. So if you, uh, once again, if you haven't watched my channel before, I always do a prediction like so if I was Scott Lindsay, who would I put on the um, pitch and why? Sometimes I might not even have a reason why, they just might be regular starters. First player is Sol Brin, he's a regular starter and um, last game he saved us loads with um, like stopping Grimsby from getting the goal uh, that they needed. I think they had like five shots in the, uh, at the time that they had, so yeah. So left back, I have put Fraser, Blake, Tracy. He's actually been all right it, um, ever since he joined us against Carla. It, yeah, that was his debut. Um, he hasn't had a bad game yet. And um, last game, he was actually all right. Centre back, I put Angus McDonald. He was all right last game as well. So um, yeah, he's a captain as well. Our other centre back, I have put Tom Clayton. Um, his defence was all right as well last game. Um... Some other games as well, it was really, really good. Right back up at Marcel Lavinia. I did hear a few weeks ago that he was going to be on the return. But the question is, will he be replacing Romeo Hart? And especially after his performance last game, um, 
I, I think he will. I really do think he should have some time on the pitch. So, yeah. Other centre mid, I put uh, Ben Gladwin. He got an assist last game. Um, I'm not sure if he got both of the assists. Uh, no, it weren't. Uh, it was just the second goal. But it was a good good decision to pass to Darcy to get the goal. And, um, yeah, his past few games have actually been all right anyway. So, it would be all right if we if Sutton. Other centre mid, I put Ronan Darcy. He got his first goal of the season last time. Uh, no, last game. So, hopefully he could do it again against Northampton. Because, um... I'll be happy to see us, le uh, us at least get a point from the game. Left winger put Johnny Williams. He was out um, on international duty with uh, Wales. Uh, I only know that they played against Belgium. I know they played against Belgium and lost 2-1 on that game, but I don't know how they did on the all the other games. So, yeah. Striker, I uh, put uh, Jeff Cott. He also got a goal um, last game. It was a shot from Rona Darcy. Goalkeeper saved it and then it fell to... Um, who Jeff Cott, who uh, put it in the open net. So right wing, I have put Jacob Wakelin. There's no reason why you shouldn't uh, let him on the pitch. Um, absolutely outstanding player. And uh, he signed a contract with us um, earlier today. And it's understandable why, because we need him badly. Final part of the video, my prediction. And I reckon it'll be a, another seriously close game. We've been rising up the table ever since our last game, our first game of the season against Harrogate. And we're eighth right now. And Northampton, their second, uh, really doing good so far. It, it's not just good. It's not going to be a uh, walk in the park for us. But again, I don't think we'll lose. And my prediction is nil-nil. I don't think there'll be any goals whatsoever. Hopefully, we see those a bunch of goals like we did in the 5-2 win we had. But um, I just reckon it'll be a nil-nil draw. So there, there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. My prediction for tomorrow's game is nil-nil. So thanks for watching, guys. If you did enjoy the video... Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to 750 subscribers. Like I said at the start of the video, we're actually really close to getting there. Now we're on 720. So yeah. Anyway, have a great rest of your day. Let's hope we get three points. You know what to do. Chill.